oh, really? the Towson, from the Towson area, yeah. All right. Okay. So it feels good man versus Jab Howl. Um, don't know any of the characters, but I do believe that they went to FD game one. Okay. Toon Link. Toon Link. How do you, all right. I don't know how I feel about Toon Link. I don't know. I feel like he has some nice stuff. Okay. And I feel like he kills way earlier than Young Link. But I, don't, I feel like he's not bad. I feel like people should on this character. Okay. Big time. All right. Although, but, the, but the question is, Toon Link versus Pichu on FD. I think, oh wait, never mind. I went to Pokemon Stadium. Never mind. All right. Okay. I don't think this isn't a too bad stage for to Link in this matchup, mainly because he has space to move around. He can dodge Thunder Joel uh, pretty well. He has his own projectiles to beat it out and get out, and he kind of just get in there and box with Pichu. Um, well, he doesn't really want to box, but he's doing a good job using these projectiles, you know, really extending them to the best of his ability, you know, getting those uh, bomb follow-ups. Right, I think the biggest thing in this matchup is going to be how does two weeks kit respond to all the low-profile options that this is going to throw out. And, I and how does this recovery respond to bad fucking down it? <laughs> yeah, I definitely think the, the biggest thing is Toon Link's fair will actually kill Pichu pretty convincingly. You know, it's pretty strong. It's really, it's decent speed, right? It gets out and it hits him and it does its job. But the hot, the biggest thing is how well does Jab, uh, Jab Howell convert off of his conversions? Because he has to take these hits and then take him a mile. Because Pichu, that's what Pichu shines at, right? They get these small hits, you know, in neutral, up air, up tilts, and he just takes you for a ride. Okay. But so far, you know, he's not, he's not doing too yeah, bad, you know? Um, he's up a stock. Almost a complete stock, you know. Mm -hmm. They're both at high percent, so yeah. he's sitting at a good position. Right. And that's such a cheesy. Wow, he died to that. Yeah, that's forward tilt. <laughs> Flagless, kills at ledge, extremely good hitbox, it's extremely fast. It's nice. I think the biggest thing where what feels good man is going to have to capitalize on is this punish game has to be tight. Yeah, right. Um, like that's he's hit just a while on straight hits. That's definitely the one thing that he's, I'm seeing him struggle at. Um, he de definitely gets overzealous with some of these combo extensions, right? He does. He goes for like three, four up tilts when he doesn't have to, and then he misses the combo. And Jab H or Jab Howell, on the other hand, is doing very well. You know, he knows when he wants to kill. He knows how he wants to kill, and he's getting them. I think Feels Good Man has to be a little bit more conscious of, you know, Jab Howell's own projectiles because he seems to be running into them quite often. Interesting. So, I don't know, right now, the, yeah. their neutral, the neutral exchanges are very interesting, you know, both of them are pretty content with how they want to play, right, you know, right. until now, it was a lot of just sitting back, letting their projectiles kind of get that first hit, and then go for the follow-up, go for the tech chase. Um, but, you know, Jab Howl's just doing a much better job at doing that. And also, it looks like the man's more playing scared than anything else. He's sitting in the shield when there's no immediate threat because he just doesn't expect when the bomb's going to come through. Yeah. But when he's trying to run out of shield, he's not giving enough of that stuff. Ooh, on wow. This good doesn't matter. He's going to get that sweet down air to kill off stage. I think that's definitely a good adaptation from Feels Good Man, because last stop, he had oh, those T-jolts off stage, and he kind of just let him get back. You know, he didn't threaten off stage, and that's when you really want to go down there and get him, especially for an exploitable recovery like Toon Link from below, you definitely want to make your presence known. You know, you want them to fear you. And what the heck? I didn't know Fort Smash. Did that have a flick bomb? Yeah. I, that I think it's, off? I think it's mainly because of the T-Jolt is disjointed. So when it hit, when it clanked with the bomb, it just bounced off. Jesus. But it's interesting. There's the more like, you know. Yeah. Feels good, man. Coming back. I think he's getting oh. nervous, yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm going to hop off for now, yep. but uh, enjoy the rest of the set. Good luck, man. Jab Howell doing a good job cleaning out that first stock. I don't think Feels Good Man was expecting that upbeat to kill. I don't think he was expecting it at all, like, to come out. Um, but that definitely seems like it's going to be an option that he's going to have to look after. Pichu versus Toon Link, especially in this matchup, I don't think Pichu wants space for his opponent to move. Um, especially another projectile zoner, someone that has much more to his kit than Pichu. I definitely think he wants a flatter stage, in my opinion. Um, because Pichu is much smaller, you know, I feel like Pichu has the mobility that Toon Link doesn't. Uh, to kind of weave in and out, he has disjoints to an extent to kind of get in there, do his job, kind of beat out projectiles. Seems like he's gonna run it back. Uh, I'm not sure if this is simply just a comfort pick or if he thinks it was doable. I think that's 
one and one. I think a lot of players, or a lot of like mid low level players, will kind of run it back, credit it to, I know what I want to do now, and I think I have the matchup down. I think I can do better in the game too. Um, I don't know if this stage is better for Pichu or not, um, but we'll see how it goes. I, let's see if Feels Good Man has found the answer to the last match. <laughs> Very interesting <laughs> bomb down throw up tilt nares. Combo extension game from Pichu seems to be very lacking. Feels Goodman definitely needs to work on these confirms. He's getting the kits, but he's not quite getting the extensions and combos that he wants. Pichu can take to me for a lot of percent. So I definitely would like to see him work on that kind of touch up on it and get better. Edge guarding is doing much better. Ooh, wow, wow, that snap was crazy. Seems like Jorge SSB is going to be joining me on the mic here. But this game is looking much better. Looking much better for Feels Good Man. Oh my Ooh, god. How did game one good, go? It was getting better the closer it was getting. Okay. It, um, Jab Howl was doing was dominating the first two stocks. Phil's good man was slowly piecing together, you know, how he wanted to approach the matchup and how he wanted to get these kills. And he brought it back fairly well. Game two here, you can see that it's a completely different story, you know. Phil's good man is up a stock. Yeah. And he's taking this lead and he's running with it. Yeah, I feel like game one's really important to understand what you're like if you don't know a matchup, just see what your opponent's doing. And if they keep doing the same things, just think of a way to um, punish them. Yeah. And I think Feels Goodman has definitely found, has worked out some kind of plan against how he wants to play Toon Link. But I think his biggest issue here is getting these confirms or getting these combo strings that he wants. You know, yeah. he gets he gets the confirm, but then he drops them. And he doesn't get much off of them. Ooh. T jolt, but then he goes for that F smash. I think I don't think he was confident with how if that T jolt was gonna connect or not. And I think that's definitely a big thing that a lot of players have to get is being confident with their confirms. You know, you get that hit and just believe and just know it's gonna hit. Like, if you second guess yourself, you miss out on the timings, you know, especially for tight links in this game. Oh, that's a <laughs> overzealous down air from Toon Link. Bomb cutting clutch, coming back. Getting him off stage, getting him back on the stage for free. Turning into neutral, it's gotten much better. Ooh, jab lock F smash. For some reason, I think a lot of Players surprisingly miss techs out of nares, you know. I, I guess they, they expect to be able to act out sooner. Even myself, I, even me myself, I have an issue with that. But this is good um, for Feels Good Man, you know. He's definitely getting these links up air, back air. Nice combo. 54%, still 97% on his second stock. Let's see if he can avoid these confirms from Jab Owl. He's being very wary. He's platform he's camping on the platform which is good because jab howl seems to be throwing a lot of projectiles from below but now he's kind of bombarding him with unsafe bombs um, seeing how feels good man will you know contest them kind of beat him out Ooh, thunder interesting option back throw t jolt down air yep. <laughs> back throw is going to seal the deal seal the stock but he's at 96%, almost 97. I believe a down tilt or an F tilt, or an F tilt, I'm sorry. Hang on. Kill. It's me. <laughs> I can't leave you alone on the mic. Oh, God bless. So this one is actually looking pretty close. I like how close this is going. Yeah, I agree. Um, just good. <laughs> Double F tilt. I'm out so mad. Hey, man, if the first one doesn't work, why not go for a second, right? I'm so mad. <laughs> Hey, try, try again. You know, that's, that's the old time saying, right? If it doesn't yeah. succeed, try, try again. And the thing is, it looked dumb, but it was actually the smarter thing to do because the first one shrunk the shield, second one shield poke. There's really nothing he could do. Dude, it's hype. But Toon Link, Pichu, I don't know where Jab Howl wants to take Pichu. A big stage is definitely very beneficial for Toon Link. He has a lot more projectiles. He can cover a lot more ground than Pichu can with just a simple T-Jolt. So I think going to a bigger stage where he can run away a lot, he has a lot more room to run away, which is a good, which is a good stage to go to. And this pro controller coming in. I'll have to make an announcement about that soon. Being an asshole. Hey, yo,
All right, game three, 1-1. One, one. Going to Unova. Kalos, Kalos. Kalos, okay, I get the two mixed up all the time. I was about to ask you, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is Kalos. Typically, yeah. this song plays a lot on Kalos. I wouldn't know. Anyways. You never played Gen 6? What? Never played Gen very, 6? <laughs> very interesting stall. Uh, but I just got called, so I have to head off the mic. Oh, no. All right, I'll see if I can come back later. So, last game, we're going to see if Jab How has actually made these adjustments. Uh, it was looking a little bit rough at the end of that game, but at the same time, he has two link. Honestly, it just seems like Jab Hal is getting a little bit baited by Peach's movement. That is something that Jab Hal is going to have to learn to manage. Ooh, he missed the follow up there. That could have been an air. Or even a forward air. So, if Jab Hal goes back to watch this, my advice go back and grind some of your conversions. Get used to recognizing when you can confirm, convert off of what. Because that definitely should have been a stock right there. I would also suggest try to practice movement a little bit more. You're looking a little bit uncomfortable with your movement, but overall, your zone game is pretty good. Phil's good man has some pretty amazing movement with his Pichu, though. That was really good. Sending a message, actually. And I think as the meta shifts, being able to edge guard characters with tethers like that efficiently is going to be a big thing. I've been saying since Smash 4, I don't think tethers are that great, but that's just me. Uh, he kind of kind of missed that opportunity there. Chad Hyle and Chad Hyle in general just he was, he was good. It's just for the most part with Chad Hyle, it seems like he's gonna have to. Uh, Kind of get used to converting off of kills. It just seemed like he was throwing out moves, getting used to uh, 